There is something that you can't go to the court without, or at least you shouldn't go to the court without. Know what it is? Stay tuned. Everybody. My name is CJ Johnson and together with my partner Tony Roy from Into Pickle, we are Pickleball and we're dedicated to helping players over 50 live their best lives on and off the pickleball courts. You can go to the pickleball court and you can have the wrong paddle, the wrong sunglasses, the wrong water bottle, but don't go to the courts with the wrong shoes. One of the things that we see often on the pickleball courts, especially with new players, as well as some experienced players, is they come to the courts and they come in a running shoe or a, a lightweight around town tennis shoe. And that's not the type of shoe that you want to use to play pickleball. Now, you might thinking, be thinking to yourself, why does that make a difference, CJ? Well. Pickleball shoes are built for the lateral motion that we have in this sport. Whereas other types of shoes, the ones that I mentioned, the running shoe, the jogger, even cross training shoes, walking shoes, things like that, those are built for forward motion. So just by coming to the courts and not having the right set of shoes, you put yourself at risk for injury, potentially uh, rolling an ankle or a fall type of injury from uh, not being able to stop your lateral motion or overuse injuries. It, it, pickleball shoes are built to absorb some of the shock that we get, especially from asphalt courts. And you're putting a lot of excess pressure on your knee joints, your ankle joints, your hip joints. So to protect yourself from injury, you need to have the right pair of shoes. Before we start talking about the right shoes for pickleball, let's talk about some of the wrong shoes for pickleball and what makes their design much less than ideal on the pickleball courts. The first one that I mentioned is uh, just a lightweight shoe uh, that you would wear around town. You're running, doing some errands. You can see by the way I move this shoe around and twist this shoe that there's not a lot of stability. This is not going to support your feet and your legs when we're moving laterally on the pickleball courts. The other thing you can see, not very stable back here, not a lot of cushioning, uh, so there's no way to absorb, the shoe doesn't have any way to absorb some of the um, uh, shock that you're getting just from your feet moving around the pickleball court. Yet these are shoes that we see often. Uh, they're just not supportive enough to play pickleball in. So that's the first one. The next shoe that you see often on the pickleball court would be a running shoe. Let's keep in mind what this is designed to do. Running is a forward motion, so the shoe is designed to support the foot and the body as it moves forward. You can see it flexes here in the forefoot, um, but it's not designed for the lateral motion of pickleball. There's not really any support on the side or on the instep of that shoe. Now there is some cushion, cushioning. Uh, you're gonna see the, the heel here, the heel padding on this particular shoe. But again, it's designed for a forward motion, not the lateral motion that we get in pickleball. The danger of this shoe on a pickleball court is because of this high profile and thick heel without the lateral support is it's pretty easy to roll your ankle off the side of this shoe and cause an injury. Another potential side effect of actually either of these two shoes, either the, the lightweight around town shoe or the running shoe, is long-term impact from the pounding that we take out on the court. There have been some people who have said, hey, I've been playing in this shoe or I've been playing in the jogger and everything's just fine. Well, in the short term, maybe you don't roll an ankle but they're not designed to help to cushion the body from the impact that we get when we're playing on these hard asphalt courts. So over a period of time, the wear and tear on your body is just not worth it. 
All right, the next one, we're starting to get into a shoe that's built a little bit more for lateral motion. This is actually a volleyball shoe. This is an Asics volleyball shoe. So think of volleyball again as a sport. There is some forward motion, but there's also some lateral motion. So what you're gonna notice here is compared to the running shoe, this, this heel is just a little bit lower. Um, the shoe is just a little bit wider in the base. That's again, that's helping our bodies with the, to move laterally. Compared to the running shoe on the upper part of the shoe, this is a little bit more firm. It's not all mesh. So it's keeping that foot from sliding back and forth. Now a volleyball shoe can be a good option for indoor play. I'm gonna show you in just a second when we look at the tread, when we look at the bottom of the shoe, that it's probably not the best option for outdoor play. But with the design of this particular shoe, we're starting to enter into the uh, realm of court shoes and getting a shoe that's right for the type of motion that we're making in pickleball. The last shoe that I showed you, the volleyball shoe, and the one that I'm about to talk about, a pickleball shoe, share some similarities with shoes that maybe a lot of you own. That would be the tennis shoe. They're definitely built for a lateral motion and they're gonna give you some cushioning and support while you're out on the court. But make no mistake, a pickleball shoe, one that's specifically designed for pickleball, is different from a tennis shoe. Believe it or not, there's more lateral motion in pickleball than there is in tennis. And as I alluded to a bit earlier, what happens is when we're moving laterally, if this is the shoe and this is my foot, when I stop my lateral motion, my foot actually keeps moving inside the shoe. I need the shoe to help to stop to move the foot so that I can both gain traction and it's safe so that my foot doesn't roll off the side of the shoe. And that's what a pickleball the shoe is designed to do. So some of you are probably wearing a volleyball shoe for your indoor play. Uh, my guess is many people are wearing a tennis shoe, a court shoe, something built specifically for tennis. That's gonna help to support the body to minimize the lateral motion because it has the features that we're talking about on the side of the shoe to prevent the foot from slipping. Now, I don't play tennis. I'm playing pickleball. That's all I'm playing. So I wear a shoe that's specifically designed for pickleball. Uh, the difference in this shoe, the heel is nice and secure in the shoe and that's where uh, slipping can start. So it secures it from the heel going forward. And even though the foot is very secure through this part of the shoe, one of the things I like is it's a little bit wider in the toe box uh, as, as well as from the top of the toe uh, up to the top of the shoe, there's a little bit more room. So it's nice and roomy. And at the same time, it's extremely supportive as I move from side to side. One of the next things that you want to look at in a pair of shoes are the soles. Soles are very important for the movement that we're going to be making out on the pickleball courts. I'm going to take the running shoe and that lightweight jogger. I'm going to put those off to the side. Let's talk about the sole of the uh, volleyball shoe as well as the sole of the pickleball shoe. Now the sole on the volleyball shoe, I think what you'll notice first of all is they have a different tread pattern. Um, this sole is built for some lateral motion, not as much as this particular shoe is built for. What you can't tell is this sole is softer. Now think about where it's used. It's used for volleyball, so it's used in a gym. Uh, you're working on a softer surface. So if you were to use this particular shoe outdoors, chances are it's not going to last very long. This is actually a Vibram sole. So this sole is built to take the punishment and the abuse of being outside specifically on an asphalt court. Now, one of the other things that you would notice here is you'll notice this tread pattern that's on the inside up towards the front of the toe box and both shoes the volleyball shoe as this has this as well but it's not quite as pronounced uh, reason being again 
in the pickleball shoe, there's more lateral movement, and that's specifically what it's designed for, which with the volleyball shoe, it's designed for some lateral movement. So while an indoor volleyball shoe will work, it's gonna help you with the traction, it's designed for the correct movement, it's designed for the surface uh, if you're playing inside. Uh, an indoor pickleball shoe is probably gonna give you more traction as well as more uh, stability. And certainly, if you're gonna be playing outdoors, this type of shoe, a volleyball shoe, or even a basketball shoe, because that's a court shoe, again, designed for the lateral mo movement. It's also designed for indoors, so if you're playing outdoors, this is not the type of shoe that you want to use. Specifically, a pickleball shoe or a tennis shoe uh, that's designed to be outdoors, that's the type of sole that you need when you're playing outside. If you'd like to know more about the different types of equipment or what you might need to get out on the pickleball courts, click on this playlist right over here because together we can train smart, live bold, and age well.